Now, there's a lot of people out there that want me to address other names. There's one particular person who will remain nameless. And I will not deny it. I think he's a fat, no good bastard who I despise to the core. On his solo show, Stephen A. Smith appears to call out this man, Jason Whitlock. Even though he has made a career out of maligning and ridiculing and trying to wish others the worst. I'm where I'm at. That particular individual is where he's at. And I'll leave it at that. And no, I'm not talking about Marcellus Wiley again. And makes it clear he's not calling out his newest beef of the week, Marcellus Wiley, nor is it his former co-host, Max Kellerman. Uh, oh. Never trust a man on a black fedora. Oh, that's not even his fedora. That's not. That's Alicia Keys. Oh. It belongs to a tattoo from Fantasy <laughs> Island. Like, come on, B. Uh, how you buy a hat that's 10 sizes too small for your head? It's quite obvious his shot is being taken at Whitlock. And after making it clear it's not Wiley and Max, he says this. They ain't fat bastards. Who's, who's, who, who are seeds of the devil. Wishing nothing but black folks home. But I'll leave that for another day for when the time is right. So what has Whitlock said about Smith? Stephen A. Smith and all the other race baiters go on TV. Okay, you want to throw a punch at me? I get it. You're an equal opportunity punch thrower. But what mm -hmm. you're saying is he's not. He punches down at the targets that he's directed to punch at by the NBA, by the people at Disney and ESPN. That, th there's no accountability for himself. And then he's actually... He's pretending to be strong when really his criticism is weak. Hilariously, he had this graphic shown that depicts Whitlock in a different light. I think, I just don't think Stephen A's being authentic. Hmm. I, I think he's pretending, like Steve says, to be political and say provocative things, but he's really not. He's just, he knows how woke ESPN and Disney are. And so he, he goes out and, and, and plays Republican light. What he means by this is anti-Trump, of course. On the wait line, Whitlock saw a tweet, was added, and replied, because he's mad, Stephen A is, and emotional. He actually called me the seed of the devil. He's taking things a bit too personally, but I get it. In the past, he wrote, Stephen A. Smith has been upset since ESPN dropped bags on... Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, Pat McAfee. He's looking for 25 mil a year. Wonder if Fox Sports, in conjunction with Fox News, would give it to him. Every public word SAS utters is a negotiating tactic. He's, he, he's, he's just an opportunist. He's just trying to build a brand. That's actually quite rich, considering that ever since Jason Whitlock has been dropped by ESPN, he has been dropped by Fox Sports, he has been dropped by Outkick the Coverage, all this dude has tried to do is grow his brand. Who who is Stephen A. Smith's MK Ultra handler? Who who is who who is telling him to do this? On Smith, he'd add this. This is what you do, and this is what you sound like when you've been bought and paid for. People love to talk about who's a sellout, who's a sellout, who's not a sellout, who keeps it real. That's what selling out looks and sounds like calling him a sellout yet in july of 2023 he said stephen a smith knows dan's a sellout stephen a smith i don't believe it i don't think he's a sellout so which one is it he also says stephen a smith is controlled no selling out is when they hand you a 12 13 million dollar a year contract to say what you're told to say That's what selling out is. And Stephen A. Smith sold out. If, if Shannon and, and Stephen A. keep pushing this agenda, I'm going to expose all that I know. This was in reference to Sharp wanting out at FS1 after the relationship with Skip Bayless 
completely broke down. Whitlock said that he would expose them all, and yet to this day, he has not done so. In addition, he would obviously host Art Bryles, the disgruntled ex-Baylor coach who allowed a toxic environment to fester within the Baylor football program, which included degrading and essaying women. But Stephen A. Smith, he's out over his skis too. They don't know what they're talking about as it relates to these cultural issues and these conversations on race. This intentional racial division being stirred by fake news. Stephen A. Smith, Molly Carroll, half the people on Around the Horn, they're all useful idiots. The people over at Anscape, useful idiots. Some of my personal favorites from Jason Whitlock. It's always about the money. It's never about justice. He said it himself. And also this. I'm a pretty good sports journalist. Maybe. Maybe. From way back in the day when you actually did journalism. When you were in Kansas City and we have heard stories about your tenure there. We have heard stories about how you tried and attempted to bring up Black Grantland and Brown Knows LeBron James. And then when it didn't happen and you tried recruiting credible writers who did not want to work with you, you turned your back on all of them. And you turned your back on LeBron James. Maybe it's a stretch to say turn your back. You started crapping on him more and more because it helped you for political gain and build your brand. So it is what it is, man. It's fine. You might have been a good sports journalist. That hasn't been in existence for well over a decade. 